I mean, like I said, everything about me interesting, you know? I feel as, you know, time go on, like I've been in the game, what, since I was 12, 13 years old. I'm 26, 9, I'm still a baby, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I just feel like I'm kind of before my time. Being in the music business, a lot of people be fantasizing and, you know, half of the rhymes be, you know, some fiction shit they didn't made up, but, you know, this be my day-to-day -day story. It ain't, it ain't nothing artificial, so when I get on the track, I don't want to be on the track with nobody artificial because it's going to take away from what I'm doing and what I'm saying and what the people listening for, for me. I know everybody got a story to tell from, you know, bitch-ass niggas to real niggas, you know what I'm saying? But I got a hell of a story to tell, and a lot of people want to hear. They appreciate me putting them in my business like I do, because when I rap and put albums out, I really don't have nothing. Because I, I'm, I'm still out there. I'm, I'm, I'm still, you know, in the streets, and still, I ain't hard to reach. I make, I, I make my fans and everybody who, you know, fuck with me feel like a part of me. The, the people embrace me like one of the, one of their fans. Family members, you know what I'm saying? Just knowing my story, knowing what I've been through, knowing where I come from, how and addiction and the in and out of jail. And when they see me, they rooting for the underdog because I've been the underdog for a long time. Chopper City is my label. I'm signing Chopper City. TI executive producing the project with me. As far as Grand Hustle concerned, I'm affiliated with Grand Hustle. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, tilt we see eye to eye. That's my dog. I branded Chopper City enough to take the next step to go to the major to, you know, really build this empire that I'm trying to build and this vision that I got for Chopper City because I'm really trying to turn Chopper City into what I helped turn cash money into. Cause I could have been made a major move and been, you know, signed to a major, but it's timing with everything. So, you know, I just hung in there, grinded out and did what I had to do, made the right chess moves. and. Bam, I felt as though it was it was time to push the button on taking it to the next level. The name of the album is Too Hood to Be Hollywood. This is my 11th solo album. I think it's my best body of work yet, man. And, and it really, you know, I hear a lot of people say that about everything that's next up for me. It's, it's better than the last, but this one really, really, really is just showing my growth as an individual, as an artist, as a CEO. And, I have a lot to say, a lot to talk about. You know, I'm lining up the DJ drama against the grills. I'm gonna do a tape with Khaled. I'm gonna do a tape with Who Kid. I'm gonna do a tape with DJ Hectic. I'm gonna honestly do a tape with everybody who wanna do a tape with me, man. Cause it's like, this is what I do. Cause you know, I didn't, I didn't show, I didn't show that it ain't going nowhere. I didn't overcame every obstacle and jumped every hurdle. Mm -hmm. It just come from being real with myself. You know what I'm saying? You don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. You know what I'm so, you know, what I stand for and believe in, that's just the way it's going to be. Why, it's Chisel, Mr. Too Hood to be Hollywood. And if you ain't know, tell you, this double XL man, that kind of baby pop.